What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. Today we are in the new 2019 Nissan Maxima, courtesy of Hanover Nissan in Hanover, PA. And so the last time the Maxima was redesigned, it was in 2016. And so for the 2019 model year, there has been what I guess you could call the mid-cycle refresh. So therefore I am in this one today. So as always, you guys. Let's start with pricing. And so there will be several different trim levels available for the 2019 Maxima. First one being the S that starts at $34,050. Then you have the SV for $36,060. SL, which is the one we are in today, that one is gonna start at $38,540. SR, that is the sportier version for $39,630. Platinum starts at $41,540. And lastly, the Platinum Reserve for $42,680. But so then regardless of which one of those trim levels that you go with the power plant is going to be the same powering the 2019 maxima is going to be a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 300 horsepower at 6400 rpm 261 pound feet of torque available at 4400 rpm power is going to be sent to the front wheels through a cvt and you will find paddle shifters if you go with the sr trim level only if you wanted them but overall zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 5.8 seconds which we will be testing out in a little bit here and mpg numbers come in at 20 in the city 30 on the highway get this using regular unleaded fuel a lot of times when you jump up to a v6 engine you do have to take premium but not with the maxima but so that before we do any kind of acceleration i do want to mention there is a sport driving mode button located just behind the shifter there and so when you press that it will adjust the throttle response as well as the steering sensitivity as well i'll get a little more into that later in the video and so for now since we do have it in that sport driving mode button here let's test out the acceleration <laughs> okay it's it's funny hitting the acceleration in a faster car with the cvt it just kind of hangs out in that upper rpm range but it never bounces back down but nonetheless it is a quick acceleration but with the cvt and that kind of power it almost feels unnatural but definitely no issues with merging onto the highway though i will say that for sure but so that to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so as expected you will find four wheel disc brakes with 12.6 inch ventilated front discs in the back 12.1 inch ventilated rear discs and as far as the braking fuel goes i have had absolutely no issues with that today no brake pedal delay or anything like that it definitely brings you to a quick stop but so then touching on suspension a little bit on the maxima you will find an independent strut front suspension independent multi-link rear suspension also front and rear stabilizer bars and i did want to also mention if you were to happen to go with that sr trim level it is going to add more than just good looks the suspension tuning will be adjusted as well because with that sr you will find a sport tuned suspension with retuned dampers stiffer springs and a larger front stabilizer bar as well and as far as the steering feel goes in this thing actually i will say without it being in that sport driving mode the steering feel is kind of loosey-goosey it is kind of numb it doesn't feel natural for a car like the nissan maxima i'll put it that way but with it in that sport driving mode it is definitely a heavier weight to it and honestly i would just leave it in that sport driving mode because the steering feel alone is night and day definitely a nicer feel when it is in that sport driving mode and so the touching on ride quality i would say it's about average for the segment definitely not a punishing ride by any means i've had no issues with going over bumps it soaks them up fairly well and another thing it is quite quiet in this cabin of the maxima so that is another thing i noticed immediately when i started driving this one it is a more luxury esque cabin so not a whole lot of exterior wind noise if any coming into the cabin a lot of times a moonroof or a sunroof will add some additional wind noise but with the maxima that is not the case but so then touching on visibility it does have more of a sloped roof line in the back so if you're watching this and you're worried about that rear visibility i will say don't be because i can see perfectly fine out the back another thing i kind of like is those rear headrests kind of tuck into the seats as well so if you don't have rear passengers they are not going to be up and kind of obstructing your rear visibility there as well that is definitely all so nice so no issues with visibility overall but enough with the driving dynamics you guys let's check out the exterior of this slightly refreshed 2019 nissan maxima and so starting up front you will find revised led headlights for the 2019 maxima they will come with led daytime running lights as well just below for the sr trim level and up there will also be led fog lights down there 
Then make your way to the side, you will find power adjustable side mirrors that will come standard for every single trim level. If you want with the SV trim level and up, those side mirrors will come heated with LED integrated turn signals. And looking down at the wheel setup, there are 18 by 8 inch aluminum alloy wheels will come with the S, SV, and SL trim levels. SR trim level is going to come with 19 by 8.5 inch alloy wheels. And the platinum trim level is going to give you 19 by 8 inch aluminum alloy wheels. But so then make your way to the back, you will find trim level badgering regardless of what trim trim level that you go with. LED taillights will also come standard across the board. SR trim level is going to give you a rear spoiler. That is the only trim that's going to give you that. And just below it all, dual exhaust outlets with quad tips. Definitely looks very high class back there. I love it. And that's going to come standard actually for all trim levels. So you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are round back to open that rear hatch there actually is a button on the key fob so simply just press that if you like and once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 14.3 cubic feet if that was not enough space there is a 60 40 split for all trim levels giving you a good bit more space back there if you needed it then make your way to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 34.2 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there also for those rear passengers they will find a rear center armrest with cup holders along with rear ventilation and a USB charging port so they can charge up their smartphones if they wanted to. Also wanted to mention with the Platinum Reserve trim level, you will also find heated rear seats back there too. Then make your way to the front seats. Eight-way power adjustable driver's seat with a cloth finish will come standard for the S trim level. SV trim levels and up are going to add leather. Those front seats will be heated with those trims and you will get power lumbar for the driver's seat as well. Then if you jumped up to the SR trim level, you will find ventilated front seats in addition to the heat. And with the SR trim level and up, you will find diamond patterned stitching, a very high end look up there. So you gotta love that. Then take a look at the steering wheel. It does come tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for all trims as well. And if we went with the SL trim level and up that we have today, you will find that steering wheel to be heated for the super cold day in Pennsylvania that we quite often have. Now when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. It is all on the one side of the key there, but you will find lock, unlock the button to pop the rear hatch, and there's actually a remote start for all trim levels as well. That's the little circular button there. But you will also find a push button start located just in front of the shifter there. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And so then once started up, tachometer is going to be on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a fairly large digital display front and center, giving you things like your time of day, outside temperature, digital speedometer if you want it, as well as displaying that sport driving mode up there as well. And there's a ton of different things you can scroll through. There's your trip A, trip B, when you need your next oil change. So a good bit you can play around with up there. But now take a look at overall interior quality. As I was mentioning earlier, there is a dual panel panoramic moonroof for the SL trim level and up. So not only the front passengers have their own moonroof, but the rear passengers do as well. So that's definitely pretty cool. Home light controls will come with the SL trim level and up. They're going to be located on the rear view mirror there. Dual zone climate control will come standard for all trim levels and it is kind of warm out today. And I will say the air conditioner is quite cool. And that's not always the case, believe it or not. So definitely a fan of the cool air conditioner that we have there. Satin chrome interior trim will come with the trim level that we have today and the lower trim levels as well. If you went with some of the upper trim levels, you'll get a wood trim in the place of that. And you will also find aluminum pedals if you went with the SR trim level. And there's an overhead sunglass holder for all trim levels. But now let's make our way to the tech display there is an eight inch color touchscreen display that will come standard across the board also standard with that bluetooth and audio streaming as expected but also android auto and apple carplay for all trim levels so therefore if you have a smartphone simply hook it up to the maxima and you will get free navigation through your smartphone as well as the ability to like and dislike your pandora songs up there too that's definitely always nice factory navigation system will actually come standard for the sv trim level and up that's definitely impressive as well one of the lower trim levels gets factory navigation that's pretty nice also you can check out your radio settings up there and by the way when it comes to the sound system the s and sv trim levels will give you eight speakers but if you went with the sl trim level and up you will get that 11 speaker bose sound system which actually is the one we have today so you guys know what we have to do next let's turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one 
<laughs> I had a Bose sound system in my Infinity. I always loved it, never failed me. This is definitely a very nice sound system as well. Ton of bass, crystal clear. I have nothing bad to say about the Bose sound system. But so then last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the Maxima in reverse, you will find a rear view camera for all trim levels. And if you went with one of the platinum trim levels, you will also find an around view monitor with that 360 degree monitor so you can see what's around you at all angles. So that's always nice as well. But that is going to lead me into safety. So to start, there will be front side and side curtain airbags as expected, but also driver and passenger front knee airbags as well. That doesn't come standard on every vehicle out there. In the back, you'll have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also, all trims will also give you forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking. If you jumped up to the SV trim level, you will find blind spot warning with rear cross traffic alert. SR trim level is gonna add pedestrian detection. And lastly, the platinum trim is gonna give you rear automatic braking. And so, but anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold. Loving you, a shark could be a dream, sweetheart.